Hey Excel Geeks, in this series we gonna see query resolution session, right? We went alive on Instagram and we got on a query from Ramesh Taggy. He's one of the followers for us on Instagram. He having a query that some raw data set available with him and he want to create a sales report to present that with his respective stakeholders, meaning his clients and his uh, respective leadership, okay? So he requested that, you know, can you please showcase how I can do it? So this video series is for him. This particular problem statement, we can resolve many issues. If in case uh, you have, you are from a different department altogether, right? And you are having a similar query, then this particular video series will help you to resolve your queries as well. Okay. So without further ado, uh, let's quickly start. So what I have, I have a month on month basis, a numbers and the revenue I would say okay I have this month category added and then region okay so this particular region having a so and so sales so and so forth so what I'll do I'll just simply select this uh, I'll press a control T okay and then I'll say my table has a headers okay so this is how it looks like now if you could see the number has been automatically changed the reason behind is we randomly put this value okay so let me just keep this value as a static okay cool so this is the fixed value now now this particular table is converted into the table format now what we want we want a chart added before we begin for creating a chart I would like to insert this to the downline so what I'll do I'll just simply select this entire control X and I'll paste over here okay and i'll simply click on this option called table design and then here i'll say total row cool so here is a total row for me likewise i'll replica over here i need a sum and simply i'll just drag it like this so this is how you can see we have added a total for the individual months now we have region we have months now we want to import a chart over here okay folks so simply just select this any of the cell insert and then there is an option called line chart simply just select this and then insert it cool you have imported this line now what we want we want a different view altogether first we'll click on this option called switch row cool and then we'll drag it like this and we'll say month on month sales report as per region and then I'll just add a data label if in case we need it otherwise that's completely fine we can see it at the bottom as well cool so let me just uncheck this grid lines and then let me just click on this error bars okay this will help me to navigate which particular value it is or otherwise we simply remove it that's completely fine this legend format legend I'll keep it as the right hand side this space will help me to get a more space over here cool and then I'll simply say control B over here and I'll go into the view section I'll remove a grid line if you could see these are the grid lines available as soon as I click grid lines now it's pages blank simply insert one more line and then again one more line then this is in one center page I'll go into the insert and then shape I'll simply click on this rectangle insert a rectangle over here no fill color and outline would be like this so we are good so far and uh, I'll make this as a bold to easily calculate cool folks so this is how we can easily make a presentable Excel spreadsheet okay while presenting to the client don't go with the raw data set okay just work on your data and visualize that it will create an amazing impression and this will help us to read a data in a better manner 
cool i hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching